Hey everyone, today I'm back with another video and I wanted to really talk about something that came up this past weekend that really, um, I guess you could say intrigued me and caught my interest. Um, this past weekend, like any other weekend, I was browsing through my news feeds, kind of seeing what was going on in the tech space, especially, you know, the cybersecurity space as well. And I came across uh, this article in my news feed uh, from Tom's Hardware, you know, discussing about how Microsoft is, again, trying to circumvent, you know, the local account um, creation during Windows 11 installation. Essentially, um, what this is, if, you, if you're not familiar, um, especially with modern day Windows, such as Windows 10 or Windows 11, um, they don't, they require you, you know, through their installation dialogue to have an email with a Microsoft account, I believe, um, needed, is needed in order to actually fully install the operating system. Now, there was many workarounds for this on uh, Windows 10. I know for me, all you do is basically not connect it to the internet and you'd be fine. So I'd always make sure if I was in VirtualBox to shut off my um, network adapters or even if I was using a physical cable just to unplug that. Now on Windows 11, um, what I noticed from the very few times I've booted a Windows VM because I mainly use Linux is that, you know, there was a little bit of a work on Windows 11. I mean, it was like maybe five steps. So, you know, it wasn't the end of the world, just a little bit of, you know, it could be done with via a script if you really had to, and it wasn't that big of a deal. Now, what Microsoft is doing here is kind of just, it's not stupid, I get it, but, you know, it's kind of annoying. It's going to make, drive people away, you know, and want to go to Linux, you know, and this clearly shows how things are just kind of keep getting better. And, you know, Linux is kind of becoming the more viable option because not everybody wants to have an email account associated with their operating system. I know I don't. I mean, yeah, there's valid use cases for that. But for me, no, thank you. Um, so I just thought it was kind of interesting that Microsoft, again, is uh, trying to circumvent this um, account requirement, you know, bypass method. Um, as you can see here, there is actually, I think they discuss at the bottom here, there is a way um, you can do it still just by kind of adjusting a registry key and you can still use um, the, on the restart, you can do that shift F10 method and type type uh, OBE, B, you know, the bypass like password uh, registration, I think is what that means. Um, and that'll work, but you know, it's just again, trying to relearn that after, you know, maybe like, let's say you're an IT admin that does this every day. Um, it could get kind of annoying. And for me, this is just like a no brainer. Like, why do I want to deal with this? You know, when I'm setting up a VM, I want it just to be quick and I can, you know, just do a local account, you know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a strong password, but just want to be able to create something quickly and be, have a little bit more freedom uh, with the OS. So I just thought this was kind of interesting because I don't think there is a Linux distribution that requires an account. I know some of them have like optional things. I know, for example, there's some Debian distributions that where you can put an email in and add, and there's like an account kind of app if you want. You just kind of like to keep track of things and, and whatnot. And also, uh, you know, in case you want to have like an SSO type thing or or the type of thing, for example, where you, know, you sign into Google and that creates an account for you, those type of things, which makes sense if you want it. And you're, you're free to do that if you want. But, you know, it's like Microsoft, really? Why are you doing this again? This is going to drive, you know, more people away and make them come to Linux. But, uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say for today. Um, you know, let me know your guys' thoughts down below about this. I'm sure a lot of people are annoyed, especially people if they have this automated and scripted out. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.